Dozens of dogs tied up with heavy chains, no access to food or water. Police say they were in such bad shape, some of them didn't survive the trip to the vet's office. And tonight we're learning they were more than just pets. Ross Gadotti joins us live with more on charges filed in a local dog fighting ring. Ross. Yeah, when state police made this discovery, actually looking for stolen ATVs, they knew that they were dealing with more than likely a significant dog fighting operation. Well, now they have three arrests as a result, and they say there will be more. It was August 1st of this year when state police discovered 29 dogs in poor health on a rented farm in Nicholson Township, Fayette County. The investigation that would follow resulted in charges filed against three people believed behind what state police call was, without a doubt, a dog fighting ring. Ed Harris, a Regis Grooms, and a Militia Robinson. According to investigators, Ed Harris, who's actually in jail, owns the dogs, all pit bulls, all used in one way or another in illegal dog fighting. The two other suspects also had specific rules. Miss Robinson was um, tasked with taking care of the animals. All evidence is reporting that he's just involved with transportation as well as fighting with the dogs. Of the 29 animals removed, two puppies would end up dead, the rest taken to different veterinary facilities. The surviving dogs are apparently thriving, to include this one that remains at the Camelot Veterinary Facility under the care of Dr. William Shepard. Other than being underweight, uh, he's done wonderful. He's put on probably 12 pounds or more since he's been here, and he's doing excellent. All right, Ed Harris already in jail in Perry County, Pennsylvania, being held on federal probation violation charges. Militia Robinson in the Fayette County Jail held on, held on $35,000 straight cash bond. Regis Grooms, he's still on the run tonight. Uh, police say it was really important that they get this Ed Harris individual. They suspected for a long time he was heavily involved in dog fighting, but they never had the evidence for a charge they thought would stick in court. They say now they do. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News.